Hi again, uh, welcome to this tutorial video about the interaction system. Now first we need a character and we need it to have the full body pipe IK component. So just add the component and also add the interaction system component to the same character. Now there are a bunch of uh, parameters here that uh, you don't need to um, pay attention to at this point. Uh, the first thing that we need to do besides that is create an object to interact with. So just I'm creating uh, just a simple sphere here. Get rid of the collider and add the uh, interaction object component. The most important uh, thing about interaction objects is the weight curves. Let's start by adding one weight curve. Just leave it to position weight. It will be used as uh, effector position weight. And uh, here is also a curve. Uh, click on it. We get the curve editor. So just uh, make a straight line. This uh, weight curve represents uh, the weight of the effector's position uh, uh, during the interaction. So just uh, make a new key here in the middle at uh, half a second and just select the other keys and drag them down to zero. So basically this uh, interaction uh, is represented by this curve. It starts with zero position weight, then it goes uh, up to uh, one at half time, and then it goes back to zero. So, to test out this interaction, let's add uh, another component to the character. It's called uh, interaction test sys interaction system test GUI. Uh, assign interaction object and the uh, effector that you wish to uh, test this interaction with. Let's uh, assign left hand. Now we can play the scene. Uh, click on this little uh, button here in the game view and you see, uh, you see the interaction uh, taking place. So basically what's going on when I press this button is that the position weight starts from zero goes to one at which uh, time the hand will be touching the sphere and then it goes back to zero again. Now we can uh, create an event here, uh, set its time to uh, 0 0.5 which is uh, here and uh, enable pause. So when I start the interaction it will uh, pause the interaction uh, at this time and I can uh, continue when I click on this button here so start interaction resume interaction so it's good to see how, how the hand is touching the object at this at this time so here we have uh, the position weight uh, but if we also uh, need to rotate the hand we can uh, use the multipliers. It's just the, the point of the multipliers is that um, they just uh, reduce this uh, all the work with uh, animation curves. That is not so uh, easy. Uh, just uh, pick one. So we can uh, multiply the position weight curve by one, for example, and that would result in rotate bone weight or rotation weight, whichever you need. I usually prefer rotate bone weight, but it's up to you. So now if I start the interaction, you see that the hand bone is rotated uh, quite weirdly. Uh, it, it just uh, rotates the bone to this uh, interaction object. So when I rotate it, you see that the hand rotates along. Now, when you edit those uh, curves and uh, edit the interaction object in the play mode, then uh, you just uh, copy component, stop play mode, and 
select paste component values so you get you, you don't uh, lose the work that you have done in play mode now what if you need uh, the hand to be in a speci specific position relative to the sphere like not in the middle of the sphere but but on top of it for example so the workflow basically looks like this first you just duplicate the character you select the duplicate character's uh, hand and just in world space just uh, move it to whenever you need don't be worried about messing up your character because it's duplicate one and uh, you're gonna delete it anyway so I'm just gonna roughly place that hand on that ball just I'm gonna take care of the fingers later uh, so now what you need to do is uh, reparent that hand to that sphere and just as I said delete the rest of the duplicate so now we have that hand bone parented to the sphere it's invisible because the skinning uh, was deleted uh, to use it as uh, a target we need to add the interaction target component and assign the effector type which in this case is uh, left hand and now you see it, this uh, this hand is visualized here in the scene view now when I play again this scene start interaction you see that the hand bone is in the new place the fingers they are not used yet I will show it in a minute how to uh, set up the fingers so to do that first uh, select the hand of the character not the one that we duplicated but real hand and add the hand poser component now go to the interaction object and for the hand poser to work we need a curve for it uh, actually we don't need a curve at this time we can just add another multiplier which will be easier so we multiply the position weight by one and the resulting weight will be uh, poser weight so the poser weight will be just the same as the position weight if I set this multiplier to 0 0.5 it will be half of the position weight but we need it to be 1 so now let's uh, play this scene again now we see that the uh, hand the fingers they are locked to this uh, hand target model and if I uh, adjust the bones here so will the fingers uh, rotate accordingly so I can just uh, quickly boost the fingers a bit better then again I can uh, just copy this in play mode delete it and paste So, what if, uh, uh, for example, let me just show you one quick problem here. When I start this interaction from here, it looks all, it looks all nice, but should I move, the, should I approach this uh, sphere from another angle, then I will get this problem, because the interaction target is parented to the sphere, and the sphere will not rotate uh, along with the direction of the character. Uh, fortunately there is a solution so the, solu the solution is here in the interaction target uh, component uh, first we need to assign a pivot for the target to rotate around so we, ju we can just it's the sphere is a spherical object obviously so we can just uh, assign it because the pivot will be in the middle of the sphere and then you see the twist axis, it's uh, represented by this blue line, it says twist axis here. And this is the axis that the uh, hand target can uh, rotate around. When I change it here, it will rotate uh, along. 
and here is the twist weight so if twist weight is one then basically the hand target is free to rotate uh, around this axis uh, depending on the direction of the character so once we start interaction the hand target will be rotated to the basically to the direction of the um, hand bone where it is in the animation uh, this uh, rotate once uh, toggle here uh, if it's enabled it will only ro rotate uh, in the start of the interaction but if it's disabled like now then it will just continuously rotate and then you know I'm able to uh, move the character and it will always be locked uh, into the direction so let me just uh, give you a quick overview what uh, all those uh, curve types here do and uh, what, the, what do they mean so play the scene again so um, we have position weight rotate bone weight and poser weight already explained so let's add another curve here set it to uh, position offset y uh, open the curve editor I will just move it down so position offset will be zero when the hand touches the ball and uh, here from uh, from zero to 0 0.5 is the range that the hand will be moving from uh, its original position to the ball so in the middle of it I want to add another key and set it to something like that so when I start interaction you see that, let me show you again it will just not go straightly, straight to the ball anymore it will uh, make this little uh, offset curve here just like that resume, start interaction resume normally this uh, position offset is in the same rotation space as the character but you can uh, change it here, just position of offset space and you can uh, assign another object, perhaps the sphere or uh, the interaction object itself and it will use its uh, rotation space instead now there is also uh, some uh, values here that uh, are in the full body biped IK inspector like pull and reach and push and uh, if I use for example reach I can use the same weight curve then I resume I will uh, sorry I'll make it reach like that make it stronger start interaction so you see that the reach uh, reach uh, makes the character's body uh, move a little bit closer to the position of the hand effector and what you saw here like this uh, other hand going through his head that you can actually fix if you go to the full body biped IK inspector uh, go to the right arm and uh, increase maintain relative position weight so if you might remember from a previous tutorial if this is uh, set to one then the hand will uh, just uh, move along with the chest uh, triangle when uh, the other hand's effector is used so if this is zero the hand will be in the original position and if it's somewhere in between then it's usually the best looking solution uh, back to this uh, interaction object so what else we have push push parent and rotation weight so I think that basically concludes this oh yeah uh, in the events there is also a pickup toggle so when I select pickup instead of pause then start interaction then the interaction object will be uh, parented to the uh, whatever bone is interacting with it so uh, now we see we can find the ball somewhere here, down here in this uh, parented to the hand So this is the very basics of the interaction system and uh, 
in the next tutorial I'm gonna uh, guide you through creating animations like uh, pushing buttons or opening doors and also we're gonna take a look at the interaction trigger component so stay tuned